or the game um, mobile game class. Uh, this is my Angry Birds game. Um, as you can see, when we uh, start the game, I created a small menu that is practically a couple of sprites on the screen, and uh, this is a whole level by itself. Um, I created a level manager so that I can change through levels um, without having an issue. Uh, the levels are practically a linked list. So um, here, uh, as you can see, there are sprites. Uh, the moment you click inside a sprite, uh, it, because of a touch event that I, um, I, I, of a parameter I created in the um, in the touch uh, touches begin method, uh, you can either close or you can restart a level or you can progress a level. Um, a couple of things. The background uh, is uh, a, a random image. I'm thinking about creating a double background um, in the near future because um, I want to create the panning camera because that will be awesome <laughs> since this screen is really small right now to create uh, a big level. Um, uh, there are three levels at this point and um, everything starts here. Uh, it's uh, 1024, 768. Um, there are limits to the floor is here ish. I uh, create a fixture that holds it, and uh, I create an extra fixtures because I, I don't want to um, have the birds move to the back of the slingshot. Um, everything that moves uh, further away from the right side of the screen gets destroyed, so we don't lose um, um, don't do lose count. Uh, there's a global variables method that holds the number of birds, the number of pigs, and if the game is paused. Uh, the screen you saw earlier is considered as a pause screen. I didn't add a, an active pause at the game at this, po at this point, but I'm thinking of adding it in the next days uh, as a full-fledged menu as well. Uh, you can hear the sounds. I implement the sound manager. Um, so basically, whenever the 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 the, um, the birds or the pinks wink, there's a chance that they play one of the random sounds they have. Um, I added like eight random sounds for the birds and like five for the pigs, and um, they played, uh, but the the buffer has uh, some issues. So when uh, a couple of sounds get uh, in there, uh, it kind of like um, gets stuck and replays the same sound over and over again. Um, the animations happen random. Like you can see, there is a chance that the birds wink, or that the chance that they chirp, and uh, the the pigs only wink. Um, the slingshot here, uh, you can see that uh, I emulate the, sl the slingshot feeling to it. I still have a small problem where the bird uh, actually passes through it, even though there's a collision there. Because if I drop it here, it will collide with uh, the slingshot. Um, but I want that collision there so that the birds don't um, roll all the way to the back. The birds at this point are kinematic, so basically if we nuke one of our birds, uh, nothing happens. Um, I create the particles for the flight mode, uh, so you can see the particles following. Uh, they get re um, reproduced every time you um, move in the x-axis um, instead of like animating. There are three like smaller, bigger, bigger uh, uh, puff, and um, maybe I can make them even more visible. I don't know. Um, I'll try it more when I'm completely done with uh, the particles animation that I'm making for the materials right now. Every bird has its own uh, uh, every bird has its own um, weight. So basically, birds do different kinds of damage and fly in a different way. Um, the um, I, I edited so that um, the birds don't fly that far away because uh, the screen is small at this point, and uh, I don't want them flying off all the time. Everything that moves out, like I said before, everything that moves out of the screen gets destroyed. There's damage texture for everything in the level. So basically, if you hit something strong enough, it gets damaged. Um, the damage with the floor, though, for the materials is kind of really diminished because, um, like all the environmental pieces, when they because they keep touching the ground, uh, it affects them too much. So I kind of removed it. As you saw, like um, when um, a bird gets destroyed or a pig gets destroyed, um, you get uh, the small puffing smoke. By the way, if you hit uh, the, the click, if you click in the screen while the yellow bird is traveling. Uh, as you saw, we won the level, so we progressed automatically to the next one. Uh, the special ability happens. I added special ability for the yellow and the black bird. Uh, I'm close to finishing the white bird because it's similar to the black one, and then I'm going to head on to the blue one and the green one. Uh, I added the, the blue and the white birds are in the game, uh, but they just don't have their special abilities. 
Uh, as you can see, like, you can basically pile up how many pieces you want, uh, no matter what. Um, there's a factory that creates them, and it's easy, it's just, you just put in their dimensions, and when you want them to be placed, or in their rotation, and they just appear. Um, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> as you can see here, um, um, you can move the bird around, and choose to shoot it in whatever... Um, place you want to. So anyways, um, the birds in the beginning don't can't hit each other so that's why you saw the bird bouncing off of the other bird. Um, if I throw it and I click on the screen you saw the the explosion happening and um, there's also a small explosion near it. Maybe I need to increase its uh, wavelength but I'm like I said I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna add it uh, instead of like adding force to its surrounding uh, objects I'm gonna add um, particles that shoot out of it and like damage everything. As you saw when our slingshot becomes empty, um, our when our slingshot becomes empty our level says that we lost and the pigs are laughing at us right now. <laughs> um, so, but this level is easy. Um, by the way, if you click here, you can only, if you click away from the x-axis, you can only move up and down. And if you're in the x-axis, and you uh, are up here, you cannot move up and down, you can only move uh, left and right. Uh, that happens in the game too, so I wanted to emulate that uh, sensation too. So, let's shoot some birds here and do some real damage. Um, as you saw, the, it affected a lot of items. Uh, you heard the sound there from the flying. It doesn't play all the time, but it's cool. Um, now they're exposed. Let's see if we can shoot it down. Oh, the explosion sound played. Um, the game still has a uh, some way to go. Uh, you can see that it's really uh, difficult to kill the uh, the pigs. It's mostly due to um, the the weights not being correctly uh, enough. But you can try and shoot everything off the screen, and it, it kind of like wins you automatically. So here's like the last level. You can see all the birds here. Um, the, the, the blue bird doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so it doesn't uh, do a lot of damage. You can see the pig here with a helmet, they have a lot of um, hit points, so you can't kill them uh, easily. You saw the, uh, when you hit, the, the pigs have uh, three stas statuses, like uh, hit, normal, some hit, really hit, and uh, dying. Um, we can try and uh, throw the white bird here because it's really heavy. And um, you saw here, it's like it destroyed everything. So, here we're gonna try and uh, kill the uh, last uh, pig. Yep, and there you go, we won the game. And uh, now we can click uh, to reset it or uh, get to the next level and um, start all over again. Um, uh, damage for all materials is there. Um, Particles for materials are coming up. The problem is that um, the listener is a C++ class, and I can't add uh, the um, I can't add the global uh, f uh, methods to it. So I have to create a wrapper for it and uh, start from there. Uh, the slingshot needs to be emulated a bit better. I uh, will try and create the whole feeling that you are um, that it's moving in front of you and it's holding you there. At this point, it's just a picture with a joint that is um, there with you, and um, I tried creating another fixture that holds it uh, between that and uh, the middle of uh, the screenshot here, but it's not doing anything uh, better, if anything. Um, you can see here that if you hit a, an object strongly enough, it gets destroyed, um, otherwise it, they get damaged more and more until they get destroyed. They have four um, enumbed uh, states and um, that's about it for the game. Soon I will have more levels in and a small level creator that I'm working on and uh, hopefully I can add a lot more features and have this game complete. Hope you enjoy this.